the first thing you got to do is take out it from the box. The toasters I've mechanized come apart with four small Phillips screws on the bottom. After removing the screws, it comes apart like a giant pistachio. Cut the power cord and throw it over your shoulder. You're not going to need that. The first time I found out a toaster wasn't waterproof, I was shocked. Drill out the insert hole to match the size of the microphone you're using. Keep sizing things up as you go to make sure it's going to fit. This toaster has a plastic add-on for rolling up the cord. I use epoxy to make sure it doesn't snap off. Get some value out of crappy restaurant gift cards you receive by using them to mix epoxy. You may want to use your wife's credit card if that will help with your family's financial problems. Here I'm attaching the microphone by threading it through the toaster side. The bottom of the toaster has a crumb tray. I often wonder why I don't have a crumb tray underneath my computer keyboard. I use one additional screw to keep the crumb tray from opening. I've often thought of the toaster as just being a tanning booth for bread. I knew my parents had it out for me when my bath toys were a toaster and a radio. All the workings inside rattle around and give it kind of a snare sound. Cocking the toaster makes it sound something like Depeche Mode. Thanks for watching, and if you have not yet subscribed, Push the toaster.